Welcome to the definitive Stardew Valley anti-peer playthrough where I, Rin Queen, try to complete goals I set for myself while boycotting the local grocer and menace, Pierre. Stand back! No! No! This video is the third of the installment, so be sure to check out the other two before watching this. Please. Now, let's just get straight into it. You don't want a huge intro or anything, and neither do I. We have that in common. My goal for this 300 days in Stardew Valley video is not as concrete as it usually is. In fact, it's as generic as it can get. It is simply get as close as possible to perfection, also known as the road to perfection, because that sounds really cinematic. But perfection is not easy, at all. It has a lot of bumps in the road, including catching every fish, cooking every recipe, crafting every item, constructing all obelisks, being best friends with the town, including Pierre and Elliot, and more, all while boycotting Pierre. That's enough! No more! No! Do you hear me? But they don't call me the master of Stardew Valley for nothing. Actually, they don't call me that at all, but you know, they will, because... My goal is not only to get perfection, but to become as perfect, if not more perfect, than Mr. QI himself. So, this video doesn't have very concrete goals, but you know what does? This video's fundraiser. That's right, if you didn't already notice, this video is a fundraiser for charity. It is called Homeless Children's Education Fund, and its mission is, as written on the website, to advance the education of children and youth experiencing homelessness in southwestern Pennsylvania, guiding them to be productive, empowered citizens. It is still functioning during COVID, and I think it would be a great cause to support. So, the goal for this fundraiser is to raise at least a thousand dollars. I know, I know, that could seem scary, but I believe in us and there are some incentives along the way so we can come together as a community to make a real difference. At $250, I will cover a song and post a video of it on my channel with a twist. At $500, I will do my very first stream and play Stardew Expanded for the first time or Morath Farm Live. And finally, for reaching $1,000, I will hold a stream sleepover where you can play games with me and we can gossip and ask each other fun questions and chill and just have a great time, alright? But none of that can happen without y'all, so together, let's make a difference and also finally start this video. I started this very long journey, very confused. I checked my stats and saw that so many people hate me in town, specifically Fabio and Pesky Pierre, and I knew right away that the road to perfection would mean breaking some of the rules I originally set for myself. But hey, I make the rules here, so I can break them. I forgot I had the whole QI fruit thing to do, where I have to sell 500 QI fruits by the end of winter. I just started playing and my anxiety is already through the roof. I basically just worked on the QI fruits all day. Again, on day 202, I just looked for QI beans. Today I wanted to check my perfection status so that we could see exactly how far I make it in this video. So, at the start of this wonderful playthrough, I was at 27%. I'm literally screwed. Day 203 was filled with so many chores. I donated my glass shards, gave Leo a mango, got Caroline's tea leaves seen, and gave Pierre a salad even though I hate him. I tried catching the legendary fish with some bobbers and somehow, after my eyes were bleeding from staring at the screen so long, I got my first legend fish. Oh my god! <gasps> Whoa, my eyeballs hurt. On day 204, I put the glacier bitch, I mean fish, in my fish tank. I doubted how I could ever possibly finish this QI bean quest because oh my god, I need to sell 500? I have confidence, but not that much. Even though I shouldn't have wasted time not looking for QI beans, I went to the ice festival. Pierre complained about the weather because apparently that's all he knows how to do. He probably complained as I won the ice festival again and as I went home with his daughter. Day 205 was a wine day. Another win for anti peer farm. I worked on the QI fruit all day and went to the mines to farm coal and seeds. I planted what I got and made more sprinklers for even more QI beans. I got a lot more beans on day 206, gave Sebastian a birthday gift, and Linus confirmed that I am his best friend forever. Besides Leo, but still. This time on the notice board, I had to accept Pierre's quest for gold star vegetables because hey, if I want to be perfect, if I want to be the very best that no one ever was, if I want to be QI, I gotta be QI for everyone. Then I went to Ginger Island, and Elliot was nearly naked on the beach, which should be against some kind of Stardew Valley law. He said there was seaweed tangled in his hair, and I know 
He is taunting me. He is taunting me! I took my anger out on slimes and got the slime hunter achievement. I woke up on Ginger Island and harvested some stuff before heading back. I stopped by Elliot's cabin and he asked me to smell the air, but all I smelt was his crusty cabin walls that were probably moldy. For the rest of the day, I did a bunch of QI crops, then went to the mines to catch some fish I needed. I got an artifact and donated it before going back to Ginger Island to plant even more QI beans. Get used to hearing that. On day 208, I got my first banana, so I gave it to the jungle monkey and got enough walnuts to finally unlock the island obelisk. Willie asked me for a link cod on day 209, and I still need to catch that for my achievement, so thanks for the reminder, Willie. Abigail also reminded me of our second child. If you saw the after credit scene of the last video, yes, this is Marvel, we are expecting. Our child should be delivered in about 5 to 10 business days, give or take. Yeah, yeah, congrats, whatever, but more importantly, I got my link on and delivered it to Willy. On day 210, I decided to start selling half of the QI beans and replant the rest so I can hopefully, hopefully, please, 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 please finish this quest in time. I gave Harvey a birthday gift and got the popular achievement, but I didn't stop there and gave Sandy a gift as well, bought some seeds, and got useless items at the cart lady. I made good money that night. I basically worked on QI beans all of day 211 because what else is new? Today was the first day of the night market, so I took the opportunity to gift everyone their favorite items and also buy a painting and seeds. I fished for a squid so I could have Pierre's way too high maintenance favorite item, fried calamari, and went back to Ginger Island to sleep. Again, harvesting QI beans on day 212. I cannot wait to never see these things again. I spent the rest of the night selling stuff for the shipping achievement and then went to the night market to give stuff away to people. I bought another painting, caught another squid, and saw that the cart lady destroyed my crab pots. I started off day 213 with harvesting crops on Ginger Island. On the way home, I gave Elliot a duck feather and his hearts are just not going up. I Like seriously dude, stop wasting my time. I walked into Shane's Heart event where he was filming a commercial and I made my acting debut, my claim to fame, definitely in the contenders for an Oscar. At the farm, I replaced my useless super cucumber pawn with sturgeon since I need to sell caviar and caviar is also just better. On day 214, I was once again sent a letter including who I would be giving a gift to this year at the festival of the winter star. And this time, the news was not good. <sighs> Decided this. Are you kidding me? Do you not know the name of my farm? It's anti Pierre, anti meaning anti, anti meaning anti Lewis, anti meaning do not give me Pierre for anything. My day was pretty much ruined, but I continued on anyway. That is the farmer way, after all. But of course, I was stomped on more because my animals were starving and Marnie wasn't open the one time I needed her. But I got the slime rancher ring from the guild and I found out that my crab pots weren't destroyed by the cart lady. My baby was finally delivered on day 215. Oh. <gasps> Her name is Marty and she is perfect. Marty, Jojo Mart, Jojo Marty. I finally got hay from Marnie and also bought another pig because truffle oil is a literal gold mine. This pig's name is I Need Money. It's a family name. Sure, Jan. When I went to go check my beach crab pots, I realized I'd never caught the midnight squid from the night market. So I got the magic bait recipe from Mr. QI. On day 216, I did the usual QI crops. All of my animals hated me, and because I needed a win on this cold winter day, I decided to hide a rat in my hat and cook a bunch of food. I got two cooking achievements. <coughs> I mean, we got two cooking achievements. You guessed it, on day 217, I did QI crops and was nervous about not reaching the goal. To distract myself, I checked the cart lady, and I swear... She just hates me? If, if she doesn't have strawberries or tree saplings soon, I might have to buy <laughs> from Pierre. Day 218 was a wine day, which is always good. I gave Sandy and Elliot gifts. I hate you. And got four squid for Pierre. By now, I should definitely have enough. I mean, how much fried calamari does Pierre really need, you know? I pretty much did nothing other than QI crops on day 219. Okay, actually, that's a lie. I gave Leah a birthday gift and used magic bake to catch the midnight squid. And I also found two golden walnuts and planted more QI beans. 
On day 220, I finally finished Pierre's Golden Crop Quest. For the QI beans, all I could do was hope for the best because my deadline was almost up. When I warped home, I got Leah's sculpture, which she said is a representation of her feelings for me. Leah, I am married. I also broke my anti-Pierre rule to buy four vinegar from Pierre. Look, I need it for recipes to get completion. Once I'm perfect, I won't need anything else from Pierre, except his tears over not being as good as me. Santa Claus! Ho, ho, ho. Happy holidays, y'all, and even happier holidays to me, because I freaking did it! I sold enough QI beans! I can't believe I did it! It took literally the whole month! Oh yeah, oh yeah. I never want to see your sunglass QI crop looking face ever again. Not even giving Pierre a gift today will make me sad. At the Winter Festival though, I did stall giving Pierre his gift by talking to everyone, even Elliot, and then eventually gave him the gift he truly, truly does not deserve. He loved it, of course, duh. But what made this day even better was that Abigail was my gift giver. I'm dead, I'm crying, I love her, I love my family. And today wasn't so bad after all. On day 222, I got the big help achievement and QI's quest is officially done. I checked the cart lady and again, nothing. I also got a scene from Pierre's quest and he's a total, <sighs> I can't even say it. He, he's trying to charge people 25,000 gold for my gold star vegetables. Absolutely despicable. After that, I gave Clint a birthday gift and on the way to Ginger Island gave Elliot salad where he told me his hair gets in knots and I'm just like, did I ask? Anyway, I went to the volcano and found Dragon Tooth, which I need 10 of for the island obelisk. On day 223, I got money from the mayor and got Pierre shipping men. I harvested crops and I guess I had a death wish because I went to the skull mines. <coughs> I needed to work on killing monsters for the Monster Hunter achievement. I didn't get anything crazy this time, but it wasn't nearly as scary as it used to be. There was nothing good at the cart lady's cart on day 224. I was seriously considering buying from Pierre, but obviously I didn't because I'm not that impulsive. I got a couple scenes today, and one of them was for Elliot, but I won't be watching any of them because I'll be saving that for my Marath Farm playthrough where I have to woo him. Pray for me. After that, I went to the volcano to find stuff, and I finally found the secret note for the ostrich egg. <gasps> yeah! And tonight is the end of year two, meaning Grandpa's evaluation! Oh my god, oh my god, Grandpa. The future of anti beer farm is in your hands now! Oh my god! Farewell, Grandpa! Bye! And of course I got a perfect score, a 10 out of 10, a 4 out of 4 candles, a 100%, just one step closer to perfection, and I got the statue of perfection, which gives me iridium every day. So basically, I'm loaded. But being loaded means people want things from you. Example 1, Marnie, needing a cave carrot to teach her goats to speak. Very ambitious. I also bought a ton of rhubarb seeds from Sandy because I guess it makes a good profit in spring, maybe? I don't know. I'm not gonna pretend I didn't just Google what the best spring crop was. Oh, I also caught the sandfish today and bought even more extra seeds from Joja. Not my child. The store. I gave Marnie her cave carrot on day 226 and for the request board I was flabbergasted to see Evelyn's request. She wanted someone to get George leaks because he thinks people don't like him and that is not okay. So obviously we're going to shower the old man in so many presents he won't know what to do with them. I also went to the volcano to try to find more dragon tooth but I found a soul sapper ring instead and decided to combine it with my vampire ring. I finally made my ostrich incubator on day 227 and went fishing for stonefish and ice pip in the mines and got both of them. The spirits were in good humor on day 228 and I was feeling a bit reckless, so I did my chores as fast as I could, gave Kent a gift, and went to the desert. I didn't get too much loot in the skull mines, but I did get coal that I needed, so yay. The cart lady let me down once again on day 229, but I did buy a rare seed from her since I needed to sell one for the shipping achievement. I did another trip to the volcano and this time got three dragon tooth, so I should be able to get the first obelisk soon. Again, the spirits were happy for day 230, so I rushed through my chores and went to find Lewis to give him a birthday gift. I found Elliot first and tried to give him something, but of course I had given him too many gifts this week and he was wasting my time saying how scary his cabin is. Yeah, it's dark and full of spiders and it's full of you. Anyway, I managed to find Lewis on the island and gave him his gift, and sadly, at the volcano, I couldn't find anything good. Cart lady, nothing. 
I bought hay, then planted tons and tons of garlic. Sorry, no vampires allowed. Aww. Truffle oil made bank on day 232, and I officially broke 1 million gold. My wine and diamonds are also ready, so that money is bound to go up. I also made more kegs, so the anti-pure wine business is truly taking off. Later, I gave Elliot a gift and, of course, gagged as I did so, but at least I distracted him from writing or reading or whatever he does in his sad little cottage. I also gave Pierre a gift, but there was no upside to that because, ew. Then I went to catch the lava eel, and how is this harder than the legend fish? I I couldn't catch it, but I did get a present with the Physics 101 painting in it, so I guess that's a win? On day 233, Gus sent me a fish taco in the mail. I love him. I looked for dragon teeth in the volcanoes for most of the day, and I didn't find any. After doing my chores on day 234, I went ahead and gave Vincent a birthday gift, as he, Jazz, and Leo were learning. Speaking of learning, you should donate to the Homeless Children's Education Fund if you can. Every child deserves to learn and grow and prosper, just like these three little nuggets here. On this day, I also worked on the monster hunt quests for the mummies and dinos. I finally got some dinos and some good loot. The spirits were in my favor on day 236, so I wasn't sure whether to go to the skull mines or the volcano. Since I want the obelisk so bad, I decided on Ginger Island. But first, I harvested my garlic and checked my perfection status. I used the gems I got from the QI beans to buy recipes I needed, and then headed to the volcano. Turns out I should have gone to the skull mines instead, which is something I never thought I would say. I was attacked ruthlessly and teased by the dragon bone structure with no dragon tooth. Pain. Spirits were in good humor on day 237, so I knew I would go to the skull mines instead of the volcano. I checked the cart lady first and she hates me again, and when I went to go to the mines, Pam wasn't at the bus. So I had to craft a warp totem. I bought more rhubarbs from Sandy and went to the mines and got the Serpent Monster Hunter Award. I ate salad in victory, but not by the staircase because I will not repeat what happened last time. I killed a lot of mummies with like crazy talent. I'm telling you, I'm a pro now. And I literally drove myself home on the bus. Always thank your bus driver, kids. On day 237, Pam sent me energy tonic in the mail to make up for yesterday. I did my chores and prepared for the egg festival. Speaking of eggs, my my ostrich finally hatched! I named it Giraffe and it is seriously the cutest thing I have ever seen. <gasps> oh my! Goodbye. I'm dead. This playthrough is over. No it's not. Sorry. I did more chores and stuff and then I went to the egg festival and listen. Listen. I didn't want to do this but i was thinking about it and i just okay the cart lady is slacking okay and if i want perfection i'm gonna have to get one of every item shipped and 15 of every crop and that includes strawberries god i don't want to this goes against all of my morals i am only getting one and it will stay in a chest until i am absolutely desperate and at the edge of perfection and then when i get perfection i won't even have to think about pierre because i will be so much better than him and he never wins the egg festival when i always do so whatever a storm was approaching on day 238 so i knew i could fish for the second legendary fish soon. I planted more rhubarbs after my harvest and put fertilizer this time because why not? I hate the cart lady and she hates me. And while I understand the hate, this is just clear sabotage from her, not giving me what I need. I decided to try to spread the love. I went to give Haley a gift, but I was pleasantly surprised by Emily's show. I just wanted to deliver a gift, but I got a gift of myself. And I couldn't even give Haley a gift because she was sleeping, but whatever, I'm satisfied with the dance. Abigail was adventurous on day 239 and decided to put a plant in the middle of my craft room. I can respect it, but that doesn't mean I like it. I got more wine today and fish for the legend, but I just couldn't get it. Instead, I checked my rewards at the guild and I got Marlin's phone number? Anyway, on day 240, I just wanted to go to the volcano for the dragon tooth. That's it. That's all I wanted. That's all I needed. And on the way, I gave Elliot a gift and immediately ran away because I don't have time for his bullshit. Sadly, I didn't find anything in the volcano, but I did get a golden walnut. The spirits were in good humor on day 241, so I rushed my chores to get to the volcano. And literally, go ahead and give us nothing, volcano, for the eighth time. It is so hard to find dragon teeth there, but I realized that maybe if I have the burglar ring, 
which is a reward for killing dust sprites and increases the chance of monsters dropping loot, I might be able to get the dragon tooth easier. So, on day 242, I bought more starfruit seeds and gave Pan a birthday gift before going to the regular mines to hunt dust sprites for the burglar ring. I got it faster than I thought I would and practically soared to the volcanoes with my new ring secure on my chubby little fingers. And immediately it worked. I got bombs and diamonds and dragon teeth and this is just the best ring in the game, period, hands down, bellies to the floor. I only needed one more dragon tooth for the island obelisk. So, after harvesting starfruit on day 243, I went back up to the volcano and I got the last dragon tooth. I went to the cart lady who still despises me, but I don't care because I got the obelisk. Eat that cart lady. And baby Marty was no longer a caterpillar burrito on day 244. How precious. Also, giraffe, the ostrich, is all grown up. Such a beautiful thing growth is, huh? And after subjecting Shane to a life of working under Jojo's capitalistic regime, I thought it only right to get Shane a nice gift for his birthday. Sorry, dude. My condolences. Lots of harvest on day 245, and I finished the leak quest for Evelyn and George. I also had taken a sunfish quest for Demetrius a while back and finally started working on it today, also known as the last day of the quest. I chose my spot and started fishing, and freaking Elliot decided to torture me and stand right beside me. But I am stubborn, and I will not let him scare me away. I fished and got sunfish after sunfish, win after win, and after a while, Elliot gave up torturing me and left. But then, it looked like Elliot's presence did screw me over because I only got 8 sunfish and I needed 10 and there's no more now, so I'm gonna stand outside his house and stare angrily since I can't give him seaweed if I want perfection. On day 246, I came to the realization that Evelyn is literally the best character in the game. She gave me a coffee maker? Respect your elders, kids, because they will give you cool stuff. I also realized my anti-pure wine business was growing a little too big for my baby shed. So I cut a ton of trees and paid Robin to do what she does best, be a milf. Nope, okay. My nose got smudged. I meant build me a bigger shed. My bad. I went to cut more trees down in the forest and, um... Oh, what the... <laughs> what? I found a bear and not the maple one? And this one wanted fish? I couldn't find the fish at the beach, but I took a quick grub quick killing quest instead. I'll deal with the new bear later. The night before, day 247, Cool Pierre the cow gave birth to a calf. B -b 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 huh? I named it Child Surprise because it is exactly that. Fuck. That morning, Abigail asked me if I got my moves ready for the flower dance. You mean these moves, Abigail? Then I went to the skull mines to do some damage to the monster quests, and I got kind of sappy, honestly. It seemed like just the other day I was struggling in here, and now look at me. I'm a freaking badass. Day 248 was the flower dance, so after doing my farm duties, I headed on over. I cursed Pierre behind his back so he didn't see, and... I could keep him thinking I liked him. And then me and Abigail danced for the second time in our marriage. And, um, I still cannot dance on time with the music, but, you know, we all have our strengths and weaknesses. My shed was ready on day 249, and, uh... It's huge. The anti pierre wine is truly going to thrive in here, for sure. I also made a rain totem so I could catch the legendary fish tomorrow, and also worked on Clint's grub quest, where I accidentally got the crab monster quest award, so cool, I guess. Day 250, spring 26th, was Pierre's birthday. Ew. I checked the cart lady, and I swear to god, she's becoming as bad as Pierre and Elliot. Like, girl, give me saplings. I got trout suit from Willy to help me catch the legend fish and then gave Pierre a gift, even though it's against my morals. For the rest of the day, I fished for the legend and oh my oba, it is so hard. At one point, I was so close and I still couldn't get it. <laughs> It was probably Pierre's fault somehow. I don't know. I don't know. Since it was near the end of spring, I knew that on day 251, I would have to catch the legend fish. I gave Emily her birthday gift and went off to fish for this annoying, rude, pain in the ass of a fish. And after so many tries, now help! <laughs> 
Now tell me why that one was so easy. Every other one I caught, it was like, blah, blah, blah. I'm going over here. No, fuck you. I'm going there. This one was like, I've given you a hard enough time and now I'm going to let you catch me. I went to the saloon after this to give people gifts in celebration. And at home, I put the fish in my tank so I could curse at it whenever I wanted to. On day 252, I went to the cart lady and prayed to Yoba that she had something good. She didn't. Cart lady is really messing with my faith in Yoba. I went to Ginger Island to harvest and since we are a little over halfway through, I thought I'd check the perfection status. And it is 42%. So I tried to find the last artifact I needed in the desert and didn't get it and then cooked for the rest of the night. The first day of summer was full of me harvesting wine, making kegs, and planting stuff. I was a busy bee and just barely made it to bed in time. Man, being a farmer sure is hard work. Finally, on day 254, my casked wine was done. I made fairy dust so I could get some more wine fast because I am addicted to money. Then I bought more seeds from Joja and destroyed ginger island trees. I made almost 200,000 gold that night, which is damn good. On day 255, I decided to finally upgrade my hoe. I went to the beach and gave Elliot a gift, but sliced him on his way out. Then, it was time for the first try of getting the Crimson Legendary Fish. Oh my god, fucking what? Oh! <laughs> oh my god! No way! Absolutely no way! What? Wait, there's no waiting for perfection, past Rin. At this point, I forgot about the forest bear, so I, I checked on it again, and this time, it asked for a rainbow trout, which I needed for a recipe anyway, so I was on it. I gave a couple people gifts on day 256 and took Shane's quest because he wants to rub a grape on his sore legs. I don't ask, okay? I, I gave it to him and also got him a pizza. I checked up on my monster rewards and saw I only needed to hunt down void spirits, mummies, and dinos. I forgot to mention this, but on day 257, I I made another crystallarium for jade in addition to the ones I already have so I can exchange them for staircases at the desert trader after that I went to the cart lady and I swear she is like she's taunting me she knows that I couldn't catch the scorpion carp at the desert the last time I was there and she's freaking taunting me he's taunting me well, you know what? Joke's on her, because I was gonna wait, but she reminded me. I decided to say, to hell with it, and buy the desert obelisk. Okay, well, I actually don't have the stuff for it yet, but I'm gonna start gathering it today. So, I also got my upgraded hoe and decided to try to catch the scorpion carp today to really show the cart lady. But first, I checked the desert trader and they had a rainbow hat. I ran home so fast to get Omni Geodes, I wouldn't have cared if I needed to sell my own child for this hat. I needed it. And I got it. And I fished for the scorpion carp. I was on a high catching sandfish after sandfish, but finally I got the scorpion carp. That's what I'm talking about. Gay rights. Gay rights. After that, I worked on a quest I took for Caroline to sell a bunch of pineapples. On day 258, I bought recipes from Krobus and then went to the mines to kill void spirits. I killed a lot, but I didn't get the reward, so I went home to make iridium bars so I could buy the desert obelisk tomorrow. For day 259, the spirits were happy. I grabbed supplies for the skull mines, checked the useless cart lady, and bought my desert obelisk. At the skull mines, I got a prehistoric level so I could kill a ton of dinos, and I also killed a lot of mummies. I am getting closer and closer to being the ultimate monster hunter. I was super busy with kegs and wine and gift giving on day 260, so I got to the skull mines super late. I didn't get any monster hunting rewards this time, but I did get a lucky ring and a blue cowboy hat. I really I really wanted to get the monster hunter rewards done, so on day 261 I prepared for the skull mines once again. And this time I managed to complete the mummy challenge. Now I just needed the dinos to perish in order to be the best of the best. I didn't do much on day 262 besides giving Meru a birthday gift, cutting trees, and cooking. Day 263 was the luau, so I harvested stuff and warped to the desert to buy more starfruit, then warped to the beach. I put my truffle in the soup, stood with my surrogate son Leo, did some dancing, and had the governor judge our town soup. Mm -hmm. This is a tasty soup. After that, I placed mini obelisks on my farm so it was easier to get around. 
Day 264 was a Friday, and you know what that means, getting disappointed by the cart lady. I did my usual chores and then added paths to my farm and the quarry. On day 265, I finally finished Caroline's pineapple quest, and uh, holy crap, the reward was 16,000 gold? Caroline, did I ever tell you that I love you very much, you're my favorite in-law? I also went to the skull mines and got a prehistoric level and everything, but I realized I forgot Alex's birthday, so sorry Alex. On day 266, I checked the cart lady. Why why do I even try anymore? Got George's leak scene, gave Alex a birthday gift, and bought a ton of melon seeds. On the notice board, Pierre asked for a scorpion carp if it's not too inconvenient. The scorpion carp is literally the definition of inconvenient. After planting more stuff on Ginger Island, I checked the reward I got for being an amazing mummy killer, and it was an arcane hat. Honestly, I was so torn between the gay rights hat and the wizard one, but I settled on giving Cash the gay rights hat so I can channel my inner wizard. I did a lot of chores on day 267 and went to the skull mines to hunt the dino rexes, but got none. I made a ton of money though. On day 268, I finally caught rainbow trout for both me and the strange bear in the woods. I went in the mines and finished the void spirits monster quest, so now I truly only needed to kill dinosaurs to be the best hunter there ever was. I gave Sam a birthday gift on day 269 and got my third obelisk. I only need one more to go, so hey -o. I also went to the mines but didn't find any dinos, but I did find an artifact spot and it was just clay. The spirits were in good humor on day 270, so I decided to fish for the lava eel at the island volcano. <laughs> I never realized there are two monkeys just chilling in the corner. Look at that. Look at them. And this time they were absolutely positively cheering me on and because of them i got the pesky lava eel i also headed over to the witch's swamp to catch the void salmon and got that as well now i only needed four more fish for the achievement and on the way home from fishing at the beach i saw something so scary what the f Hopefully that was just Krobus' cousin, because if it wasn't, I don't feel safe in my community. The spirits were mad on day 271, but hopefully the cart lady wasn't. I did my chores and gave Sandy a gift, then checked the cart lady, and do I even have to say how it turned out? On the way to find Demetrius, I ran into Leo and Linus, and I think my heart burst from love. I... I think I'm gonna die. I got Maru's scene where she electrocuted me, kinky, and gave Demetrius a gift, not so kinky, and got the beloved farmer achievement. I also fished for the mutant carp and got it on my first try. It was the easiest legend fish by far. Day 272. A couple days ago, Marty grew up and I totally forgot to mention it, but here she is. Sandy gave me a recipe I needed in the mail and I gave Elliot a gift. He's at six hearts now. Ew. And on the way home, I was forced to see Sam's concert, but I was so glad I went because, oh my god, Abigail is the drummer and that made everything 30 times better. I am never tired of seeing that. All distractions were lost on me. Elliot's horrible dancing to Vincent's awkward sway, none of it mattered because Abigail was rocking and so cool and that is my wife. That is my wife i love my wife i seriously gave up on the cart lady on day 273 and i looked around for 10 of qi's nuts that i was missing and now i only have like three left day 274 was another big wine harvest day and i went to the mines to get copper ore i made enough money that night that i might be able to get the last obelisk soon on day 275 i gave penny a birthday gift and finally got a lobster from the crab pots that I needed for both the fishing achievement and for recipes. I went to the skull mines and didn't get many dinos, but hey, you know what they say, killing dinosaurs takes time, but that time is never wasted. They do say that, right? I did so much on day 276. I gave Willie a gift, planted some weed, went to the skull mines, and oh, did I forget to say that I got the last obelisk? I got the last obelisk. I did. So clap for me right now. I found out on day 277 that you can give your kids hats? Um, yes. So, I gave gifts to my lowest friends, took Gus's omelet quest, and ran to the hat mouse, bought my kids chicken masks. Look at them. <laughs> Jojen, and Marty. Day 278 was a national holiday. 
Leo's birthday. After doing my chores, I rushed the cart lady, who still has a vendetta against me, and then gave Leo a gift and saw a movie with him. But first, I won a Junimo plush and a poster. After Leo's birthday party, I took the wizard's quest to kill two squid kids, aka weird balloon floating heads, and worked on that for the rest of the day. On day 279, I had a big melon harvest. <laughs> I went to give Penny a gift, but talked to Leo first, and he asked if he was good enough for Jazz. Leo, Jazz would be absolutely the luckiest person in the entire world to like you. I finished the wizard's quest, and finally gave the bear what it asked for, but then it kept asking for stuff, so I stayed up all night just to make it happy, and then it just flew away and cleaned up the trash and fed the dog in town like okay mary poppins bear go ahead and be the best character in this game on day 280 i questioned my life cart lady what do i have to do for you to stop hating me do i have to buy something is your alliance with pierre too strong to break literally how can i just get two saplings please that night at the moonlight jellies festival i stood with my wife and children and hoped that the cart lady would bring me good items in the next month at the start of fall i made so much money and I knew I would make way more because it was Monday, and Monday is the official anti-Pierre wine harvest day. I bought a ton of seeds and spent all night planting them, until literally 1.30 a.m., but it was worth it. On day 282, I didn't do much besides giving people gifts, taking Robin's woodcutting quest, and finishing Clint's grub quest. I also killed two dinos in the skull mines, but that was it. I finished Gus's egg quest on day 283 and went to the skull mines. I got a peach sapling from a treasure chest! But it's not one of the saplings I needed. I need pomegranate or apricot, so close, but no cigar. Then I killed a couple more dinos, but ended up being chased out of the mines by a purple bat. On day 284, I started the day strong with a kiss from my wife. And this is embarrassing to admit, but I may not have known that you could put trees in the greenhouse without a mod. So I tried it and it worked and I am such a noob. The maple bear called me today too. Hello? Oh, 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 oh. I have some of that good sauce still, friend. It's making me very, very happy. I just want to thank you. Bye-bye, friend. Bear. Woo! make a booty calls at 9 30 a.m on a thursday i also realized i've never been into the qi casino so i went in for the first time but then i cut down so many trees in the pelican town forest arrest me lewis because our oxygen levels are going down on day 285 i got a cutscene with penny and the kids and my only question is why wasn't leo invited and vincent's only question was do i have a boyfriend which vincent have you literally not realized I am married with two kids? Then, today, I went to the cart lady as usual. And oh my ever-loving Yoba, cart lady pulled through! She said, I heard you called. I heard you called and I heard you needed something from me. And she finally, finally delivered. And please, please everyone, don't look. Don't look. I know, I know, it's too hard to see me being nice to Elliot. Trust me, I know. But it's his birthday, and I gotta do it for perfection! Then I bought more seeds and planted them, and I went to the saloon to celebrate my sapling. I got mail from Elliot on day 286 saying he finished a novel. I suddenly hate reading and books and writers. Also, just because I give you a birthday gift doesn't mean you can harass me, Elliot. Then I fished for my last legendary fish today, and I got it! Oh my god. Yeah! <laughs> and i got the master angler achievement baby let's go this day marks a day in history so write it down folks take notes i got one of my last star drops on day 287 thanks willie and then i went to bother the cart lady again and girl like i respect you but can you please just give me another win real soon if you want like i, I don't want to be mean to you anymore but i'm just i'm desperate then I found Pierre's stash and told him Caroline deserved to know about it because she does. And he called me terrible. <laughs> you're, you're terrible. Oh, Pierre, I'm more than terrible. I'm your worst nightmare. 
but I made a fatal mistake. My spite took over. I didn't think that that decision would bring my hearts down with him, and it did. It took my hearts with him way down so much that all that ass kissing was for nothing. I mean, Pierre, this is this is awful. And I had to make him more fried calamari because now I need to bring his hearts up, but I don't have oil, and this is just an entire mess, and it's all Pierre's fault and not at all the consequences of my own actions. So I went to the skull mines upset with how everything went down, and... I did not at all expect to find the last artifact I needed, so... <gasps> yes! <laughs> Even though I made a huge mistake, my luck pulled through. On day 288, I was blessed by Yoba. My wine was ready, and then I went to the skull mines, and I got a whole prehistoric level and finally finished my Monster Hunter achievements. <gasps> <laughs> we freaking did it! Let's freaking go, baby! Woo! I own this land now. Oh my god, get over here. I'm killing all you. You're supposed to be extinct for a reason. I left early to pick up my reward from the guild, and it was a knight's helmet, which was a bit anticlimactic, if you ask me. I thought I would get some sort of speech from Gil about how I am the best protector of the valley, but you know what? I'll take a knight's helmet. I'll take it. I did my usual chores on day 289, gave gifts to people, and gave Pierre his precious fried calamari with the gold I made last night pouring out of my pockets. I donated my last artifact, which was kind of anticlimactic, and bought a deluxe fishing tank to fill with all of the legendary fish I caught. I tried setting up my new fish tank, and... I'm about to sue Concerned Ape because it doesn't even fit evenly. I hate life. The fish tank issue was sort of solved on day 290 because I put it in my bedroom instead of the living room. Still salty about it, but whatever. I harvested and replanted some crops, did my animal chores, had a chicken conga lion, and interrupted Alex's workout routine to give him a complete breakfast. I went to Ginger Island to look for the last walnuts I needed, and I just need one more now. I also only need one more mineral for the museum, so I had to remember to crack geodes for that tomorrow. To start day 291 off, I gave Jody pancakes for her birthday and gave Pierre a gift just because he still hates me from the stash fiasco. He said the cold weather is good because people come into his shop to keep warm. Absolutely despicable. Then Elliot came in and it was just a party of my least favorite people, except Caroline. Caroline's fine. I hit so many geodes at Clint's and I was losing hope, but I finally got the last mineral, which means I get not only the museum completion achievement, but also the last star drop I need. Day 292 was the anniversary of me and Abigail's engagement, so I gave her a kiss and a gift. I visited the cart lady to see if my luck with her was good, and it wasn't. I started searching for Mr. QI's last nut, and it was so hard to find, so I used this website called Mousy Pounds Stardew Checkup, where you load in your save file and can see a ton of different things, including where your missing nuts are. Is this cheating, you may ask? Probably, but in my defense, no, it's just cheating. It is. Anyway, the website said QI's nut was hidden in a chest in the volcano, so I went to look for it and found nothing. Fall 13th was my beloved wife's birthday, so I gave her another gift and a kiss, and then headed off to the volcanoes to find Mr. QI's nut. It's strictly business, Abigail, I promise. I made it all the way to level 9, where there was this crazy fancy looking chest that definitely had my last nut in it, and these freaking flames and monsters made me keep falling back, and I was trying to get this to the switch to get to the chest, and it passed out. Luckily, I didn't lose anything from last night, besides my dignity, so I harvested my ginger island crops and did other choice no nope. <laughs> <laughs> i harvested my ginger island crops and did other chores including disappointment from the cart lady and prepared myself to return to the volcanoes honestly at this point those volcano flames are starting to be more annoying than skull mine serpents i know i couldn't find any chests which meant i couldn't find the last knot but at least I got cinder clown shoes to represent the absolute fool I was for thinking I could actually do something right for once. Enough hating on myself, because today is day 295, a Monday, aka keg day, aka the official anti-Pierre wine day. But it is also 
me and Abigail's wedding anniversary. I got two recipes I needed from George and Caroline and did my chores before getting movie tickets for me and Abigail. On the way to find Abigail, I saw the little dog was out for the first time. I found Abigail at the graveyard and gave her her ticket and together we went to go see the movie because at this point it's tradition. But first, I needed to show off my skills. And boy, did I. I won Abigail a bear on my first try. I also got her a blue bear, a gravestone, two bonsai trees, two pumpkin heads, a serpent statue, and a movie poster. You want the moon? Just say the word and I'll throw a lasso around it and pull it down. Hey, that's a pretty good idea. I'll give you the moon, all right? I'll take it. Day 296 was the Valley Fair, so even though I had to be nice to Pierre in this playthrough, I can still crush him in the competition. I am strong as an ox, and Pierre can smell it from a mile away. He smells his loss as he smells my sweaty back from holding up the entirety of the valley on it. I may not be Mr. QI yet, but I am working up to it, and that starts with me winning against Pierre in the Valley Fair, and of course I did. I won so easily, and I also got my fortune read, and the teller saw me and Abigail in a field, so happy and honestly just so aesthetic. The spirits were happy on day 297, so it was a volcano day. And I flew through the mines so fast, and on level 9, I had a crazy experience with booby traps and monsters, and the chest on that level still didn't have a walnut. After doing my harvest on day 298 and giving Marnie a birthday gift, I was determined to go back to the volcano. I went through every level, checked every nook and cranny, and I still couldn't find the last walnut! I swear! My game was glitched or something! I don't know, I don't know, but it's so annoying and I don't like that. The spirits were in good humor again on day 299, and I swear I was manifesting this volcano walnut. I wanted it so bad. I visited the cart lady and there were absolutely no surprises there. She stopped me again, and for the last time in this video, so f you. <laughs> I made it to the volcanoes, and honestly, there has to be some sort of anti rent campaign protest by this game, because I still could not find the last walnut in any of the chests I found. The last day of this playthrough, and I was feeling defeated. The cart lady hated me throughout this, sabotaging my victory so much she might as well call herself Pierre. And even though the spirits were happy, I was not. I was suffering. Even after I did my chores and warped to Ginger Island, I still desperately wanted to find Mr. QI's nut, but at what cost? What if I couldn't find it? Would I be a failure? Or even more of a failure than I already am? I consulted the parrot in Leo's hut and poked it until it revealed that the last walnut was indeed somewhere hidden in the volcanoes. Now, it was just up to me to find it and not lose hope. So I went to the volcanoes. And after so many hits, so many salads, so many flames. I got it. On the last day of this playthrough, I got the final nut. <gasps> Fuck it! Let's go! Oh my god! I don't even care! Oh my god! That. And after that victory, I knew it was time to do my last check-in with my perfection status. Our goal at the beginning of this video was to see how far I got from 27%. I wasn't sure what to expect. How close did I manage to get to becoming the next Mr. QI? Let's see, the last check. Produce and forage shipped, 94%. Obelisk, 4 to 4, no golden clock. Monster Slayer, yes. Friends, half. Farmer level, found all star drops, cooking recipes 98%, crafting recipes, fish caught 132. <gasps> oh my Yoba, 81%! That's way higher than I thought it would be! 81! 81, excuse me! Did you say 81? Excuse me! I am 81% perfect. Oh man, Mr. QI, you better watch out, bud, because I am coming for your crown. I will overtake you, no matter what it takes. I don't care. I will be Mr. QI. Don't talk to me or my chicken children ever again.